the 411 on 007 with Daniel Craig leaving the legendary movie franchise. The search is on for a new Bond. Our own Bond, Chris Connolly, joins us with who could drive the Aston Martin and sip a martini or two. Chris, they told me to keep it together in here before I toss to you on this one. So tell us, is Idris Elba the next guy? Well, there's a lot of excitement about it, Cecilia, and good morning. You know, when it comes to Idris Elba, it's like people on social media were like, it's been a tough two years. Don't we deserve this? It just took a few words, really, from a Bond producer to get all of Speculation Nation up and running. Sean Connery. Bond. Roger Moore. James Bond. Timothy Dalton. Would you get me a medium dry vodka martini? Pierce Brosnan. Shaken, not stirred. And Elba. Idris Elba. Could he at last become the 008th man to play James Bond in the movies? If we don't do this, there will be nothing left to save. Charged with anointing a new Bond in the wake of Daniel Craig's No Time to Die swan song, producer Barbara Broccoli with words to the Deadline podcast this past week concerning the 49-year-old Elba. Well, we know Idris. I mean, we're friends. I'm friends with him, and he's a magnificent actor. And, uh, you know, it's been part of the conversation. That was enough to get social media both shaken and stirred, because when it comes to Bond fans, the Idris Elba conversation has been underway for some time, even when the star himself has demurred. 2016. I think I'm too old for that, man. I could be running around in cars and ladies and martinis. Who wants to do that? That sounds terrible. <laughs> terrible to whom exactly, respond his many partisans. From his breakout role as drug dealer Stringer Bell in The Wire. I'm not round the way no more. You want to find me? I'm right here. To his award-winning performance in The Haunting Beasts of No Nation. What are you doing here? The character James of James Bond, Bond has transformed and shape-shifted as much as the times have since its 1960s movie debut. And should Elba take on that role, it would have impact far beyond a typical recasting. It would just be so huge and such a culturally shifting moment. And it also really expands that audience. You do not have to be white to be sexy, sip a martini, and save the world. For now, the notion of Elba as Bond may reflect more hope than reality. He said this to London's ITV News in October. I'm not going to be John Bond. <laughs> but would you like to? Uh, who wouldn't? Bond producers say they're still focused on Daniel Craig's finale. Until... No Time to Die has kind of had its run. We're not going to think about or talk about anybody else. And Kelly Carter also pointing out that when Daniel Craig was originally cast, some people thought he was too blonde to play Bond. And yet the sun came up in the morning just like it always does, guys. All <laughs> but forever. Like I said, a girl can dream, Chris. <laughs> I love the puddle that you have become talking about Idris Elba. We're going to have to change it from 007 to 0010 if Idris gets it. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.